Hey guys. So I know we're all thinking it. TikTok and Instagram just do not have enough food review-esque, misogynistic, anti-matrix, red pill pickup artist pages promoting scams for children's impressionable brains to learn from, and that is a problem. I, for one, can't find enough videos of men harassing drunk women on the side of the street with a microphone. Wait, what? It's mandatory on the first date. It's mandatory on the first date? And tutorials on how to escape the matrix. No! How do I escape the matrix? Well, that's what I would be thinking if I didn't single-handedly find the solution to all of our problems. And his name is only one Dan. Bro on the weekend, sorted, 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 sorted. Only one Dan is a TikTok slash Instagram creator with around 180,000 followers on TikTok at the time of recording and 126,000 followers on Instagram. He is a self-described Wizard of Oz and creates some really interesting content that is starting to blow up on TikTok and Instagram reels. Dan has a very unique take on the pickup artist misogyny format where he kind of wraps it in this like food review uh, format. format. <laughs> it's really hard for me to explain with my little baby words. Why don't I just show you? On hotspot, tens only season, uncharted territory. So it's a tens only season. Um, whatever that means. Absolutely no uglies in this entire city. This place is unbelievable. Top pints, top birds. I love the music. It is quintessential Love Island intro. <laughs> Fucking douchey British guy. Territory. This place is unbelievable. Top pints, top birds. It's Copenhagen. Rumors and sign of the place to be by night, but by day you're sat with a blonde rocket you just met, having a pint of Carlsberg, and a pal is a 10 as well. Who are all these random women? I am just being bombarded by rapid clips of blonde women. Is he trying to hypnotize me or something like that? The fuck? Top points, top birds, all blonde babes. And then just fuck MK Ultras me in the face. There is so much going on. Uh, the scrolling text, the clips of him just waving his arms. I literally, I can't process it all. He's recommending clubs in Copenhagen, but I legit had to watch this video like four times to get anything out of it at all. Oh, wingman's happy, you're happy. Next day, fly home, tell your girlfriend it was quite boring, but work might send you back out there soon. Roll on the weekend, sort. Gotta love the casual cheating comment. Oh yeah, and then you'll go back to your wife. Hey, what is that accent? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it was quite boring. Top points, top, top points, top birds. <laughs> I'm not even gonna do that joke. What's going on with me, bro? Roll on the weekend, sorted. Fucking sorted. He sits in this crazy line between pickup channels, uh, food review channels, and Andrew Tate Sneeko ripoffs. It's like a Venn diagram where he just sits purely in the middle. Some of the stuff he talks about is fucking insane. In this one, he talked about how to pick up girls at a funeral. Is it a funeral? Comes unmatched. What an absolutely fucking crazy thing to ever say, ever. Your riz at the human sacrifice comes unmatched. Boys in suits, the birds in black, talking soft gets me going even more. Oh. Even more? Gets you go- what are you talking about? This man walks into a funeral already fully torqued, just fucking exploding at the idea of somebody talking to him soft. What the fuck? Oh, the wake is gonna be a mad one. Bring an umbrella, wear some sunglasses, get to the buffet early, because it's gonna be a long game. This is so fucked up. It's crazy. <laughs> Tell him he was a good man. Tell her it's gonna be all right. Tell her that you inherited most of the money. Pop Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, you inherited most of the money, but you're telling her it's gonna be all right and he was a great man? Is this your own? Are, are you talking to your sister? Are you picking up your sister? Be honest. Tells her plenty at this one. Taxi back to yours to play his favorite CDs. She's gonna make you breakfast the next morning. Oh my God. She's gonna make me that? No, thank you. <laughs> Roll on the weekend, sort. The clip of him Swinging his arms. <laughs> Wear some sunglasses. Wear some sunglasses. The birds are gonna be so easy to manipulate. You won't even need to look them in the eyes. Sorted. I don't know who would need to hear this or why, but please don't pick up girls at a funeral. Please. Please. I can't tell if he's doing women reviews or like area reviews or bar reviews. It's kind of fascinating. What is going on in his big ass head? What does he think about? His mind is just a never-ending fucking 
barrage of just clips of blonde women and stock footage of a club and just music that's just he just ha he just has to get it out i gotta get it out please he also has a video about airport riz being unmatched and how it's like a pre-game lobby <laughs> am i right guys <laughs> modern warp girl call of duty airports for riz it's like a pre-game lobby absolute carnage I like to think he's referring to the famous Modern Warfare 2 airport scene. Absolute garbage. Especially since he tells us to crack the UAV, like I'm hunting women down or something. Melts by the bar, 8.5s in herds, and cracking the UAV, still on home turf while getting back up digits. Even refers to the women in the airport as in herds. 8.5s in herds. Like he's shepherding them around with his fucking sick tracksuit and sunglasses. Yes! Turns out he really likes to use COD references when he talks about picking up women. Crack the UAV here, mad 8.5s on the <laughs> I love imagining that he has like no real reference for women so he uses something like Call of Duty to bridge the gap in the knowledge like he's just like I don't understand that women are human beings so crack the UAV bring the UAV and get three kills three kill streak and pick women up <laughs> right of passage for all men it's Magalov boat parties birds boat parties vibe you're surrounded by sauce on the beach drinking and a bad call and an AT-130 on a group of milfs what what the f does that mean? Is that a euphemism for is he? For call calling in the AC-130? This bird will have you so worked up, you're gonna wipe out the entire fucking shoreline. Why can't I do this man's accent? What's wrong with me? You've just met boomerangs, bananas, Tokyo Joes, all top draw. Okay, now he's just saying words. Those cannot be real places. I won't let you in. I won't let you in my head. Get out of my head! Yes, there's more juggernauts on the radar, but that's what the wingman's for. Oh my god, that is awful. What the fuck? That's what your ugly ass friend is for. To date all the fucking juggernauts. He also has some weird fascination with MILFs, or MILFs, as he calls them. MILFs by the bar on a group of MILFs. MILFs, MILFs as well. He made a whole MILF review about, like, the next up and coming. MILF, I guess. MILFs wants to watch 2023 season. Let's go. One, Lana Rhodes. This one's got a great season ahead of her. This one's got a great season ahead of her. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Referring to her life as like a fucking season of Fortnite or something. What, what season are you referring to? Life season? Sex season? <laughs> I'm, is there some sort of sex season I'm not aware of? Yet to see a real man step up to the plate. Odds on me taking her out for dinner this year, 25 to 1. 25 to 1? Damn, he is confident. Can't knock him for that. I'm very sure he will not sleep with Lana Rhodes, but he, he's got confidence, so good on him. Two, Carol Boards. This birthday's like fine wine, and she knows it. UK based, gracing our screens every day and uploading content like this for TikTok. She knows exactly what she's doing. This is so gross. I feel dirty watching this. Dude, this is a human being, not a fucking product. They don't have se- humans don't have seasons. Closer to 40 does mean more naughty, yes, but she's slightly over the speed limit. I would take her out for dinner, odds on it happening, 7 to 1. Little less confident there. Interesting. 3. Your mate's mom. Oi! Not cool, bruv. Don't fuck. My bruv's mum, bruv. He ticks all the boxes and you want the points, but it makes you feel a little bit bad. It's like nicking your pal's food when he's not looking. Do if you can get away with it. What the fuck? What did you say? What, what did, did he say? say? No, man. That is awful advice. Do not, it is not anything like taking your friend's food. Four, Molly May, fresh out the stable, new to the game. Hey, she was on Love Island. I don't know how I didn't notice this while recording the video, but the amount of times that he refers to women as like, horses or cows or like coming from the stables the is fucking crazy and, and it makes me feel a little gross and she's looking great probably will be prime uk moments this summer got cracking jockey tommy fiore odds of me taking her out for dinner five thousand to one now those are some good chances looks like it's gonna be a great season sex season he has this like three in one video about america where he rapid fire reviews uh different areas and it's hilarious lads holiday usa let's go miami latinas food latinas vibes wavy by day ocean drive by night mad birds on the radar with bpd crazy how he fetishized latina women latinas and somehow bpd 
all in the same breath. Birds on the radar would be that's skill. That you know, that's got to be a world record. And Mad Melf as well on the map. Drop Harry Potter game on the beach if you're British. Works every time. He brings up this Harry Potter game a few times, and he's not wrong. You come to America and stand in a group of millennial women, and so much as breathe the word Patronus, and you will be neck deep in pussy. <laughs> I'm just joking. Cancun, now this is different gravy. Tons of American birds. Who are these women? I can't focus on anything when you're intercutting these videos of these women. You've used these same clips like a hundred times. Who's editing this? Stella, City, Daddy O, and the boat parties. Easiest game of your life, surrounded by American 8.5s. I love how he has like a set standard for just women in any given area. As if he did some kind of like case study on attractiveness, like everywhere he goes. Oh, Greenville, Kentucky? Yeah, solid 8.3s 8, 8 there, bruv. Vegas, it's tens only season out there. Pool party at table by day, Tiger at win by night. Your boys just made a few K on the table. Bellagio shaking hands with Tyson, surrounded by tens, cracking the UAV, roll on summer, sort. So if you go to Vegas, you will for sure see Tiger. You will also shake hands with Mike Tyson and you get top beds, top babes on the UAV. Crack the UAV. Yeah. He also has a handful of what I could only describe as core core videos, like um, inspiration for depressed teenagers. <laughs> if you're down, depressed, sad, lonely, don't know where to go mentally or physically, remember this. Take that pressure right off, relax your shoulders and breathe because life is not about material things yes they're nice but life's about moments i'm gonna laugh living for today don't pressure yourself enjoy yourself if you're depressed just stop okay money doesn't matter just go somewhere really expensive and spend a lot of money and you're gonna be so happy. I'm willing to bet it would come as no surprise if I told you that this guy was a scammer. Or, uh, I'm sorry, I mean dropshipper. Somehow I always get those mixed up. Weird. If I gave you an opportunity to leave the rat race, would you take it? 99% of people would not. Why? Because they're stuck in the matrix. Of course! It's the matrix that stops people from being rich. Of course! Of course. It has nothing to do with, say, socioeconomic status that could be put in place before you were even born. It's not like that at all. It's the matrix. And for the 1% that do want more, I can show you how to have a profitable online business within the next three days. In three days? Hell yeah, let's learn more. I want to escape the matrix. I'm just like Keanu Reeves in the movie, Matrix. Message me how on Instagram to get started. Link in bio. I'm currently mentoring over 500 people and I'm taking on a limited amount more. If you'd like to get started with a pre-built dropshipping Shopify store. Pre-built dropshipping Shopify format for, for sale. Fart sound effect. So you sell people a, a free service or at least cheap service that they could do themselves at any time. Great. Sounds like not a scam. Let's see how much it costs. So I sent him a little message on Instagram and uh, and now I guess I just gotta wait. He also does cameo pep talks apparently. So let's see how much that would run me. $27, okay, that's not terrible, but. So apparently in the time that it took for me to edit this video, uh, which is like three days, uh, maybe four, he upped his price to $42 nearly twice the price that it was when I first looked. So business must be booming or, or, or something. I am not spending that. Sorry guys, I don't make money from these videos yet. So uh, we're just gonna have to wait. So that's it for now. So he didn't answer. Uh, it's been about four days and I'm finishing up editing the video and I don't wanna record any more clips for the video. So I'm just gonna do this audio clip with the freeze frame. Uh, most people probably aren't even watching by now. So. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, uh, check out my Patreon. It's $2 a month, and you get the video a day early. Also want to say thank you to the one patron that I currently have while making this video. Thank you very much, Bisque. Uh, shout out to you. That's basically it. Uh, see ya.